Now, question is that suppose n bombs are required to completely destroying destroying the target. So, now if we uh, bomb if we n bomb you are throwing this then what is uh, this random variable can be represented by x 1 x 2 x n. So, each bomb actually each each x y defined as it is nothing but 50 percent chance that it strike the uh, target this is equal to half for i is equal to 1 to n. As earlier we discussed that these are all Bernoulli distribution, all are independently distributed random variable and all identically distributed though all have the same probability mass function. Now, we will show that uh, then we know that x 1 plus x 2 plus x n this is nothing but uh, Yeah. So, this is nothing but uh, binomial distribution in probability 1 by 2. Now, now, for destroying the target what is required? The required is that two direct hits are required. So, that is why uh, this y actually it is a binomial distribution the probability that y is equal to small y that means this is the probability mass function that it will hits the hit the target. Uh, two target one up to out of n bomb how many uh, bomb actually hit the target this is the small y this is probability is nothing but we know that this is a n c y p to the power of y and 1 by 1 minus p whole to the power n minus y here p is 1 by 2. So, y is equal to 0 1 to n this is equal to 0 otherwise. Now, uh, this can be simplified a as n c y uh, 1 by 2 whole to the power n because this is the advantage whenever it is a probability is half we can simplify in this way. So, this is nothing but otherwise otherwise. Now, uh, now to destroying completely two hits are required. So, that means it is asked that how many bombs must be dropped to give a 99 percent chance or better to completely destroying the target. So, completely destroying target we need at least two hits. So, to completely to completely destroying the target we need we need two at least two hits at least two. So, that is it is given in this information much better of so completely destroying hardware required hits are required two direct hits at least two direct hits. So, the probability of at least two direct hits each. So, at least two direct hits means this probability should be y should be greater than equal to 2. So, that means y is the random variable how many uh, hits uh, strikes bomb how many bomb strikes out of n bombs. So, at least two means it may be two it may be three. So, so now because uh, uh, this n we do not know. So, that is why uh, it is nothing but probability that y is equal to 2 plus probability of y is equal to 3 plus probability of y is equal to uh, n. So, now it is a probability mass function the sum should be uh, 1. So, this is nothing but sum of all the if we take sum of a uh, probability y greater than equal to 0 this should be equal to 1. So, this is nothing but 1 minus probability that y is equal to 0 
minus probability of y is equal to 1. So, basically we can write this event as a uh, in a more simplification. So, this is directly we can write 1 minus complement of this event y less than 2. So, this is nothing but 1 minus probability that y is equal to 0, y is less than 2 plus probability of y is equal to 1. So, that is the 2 probability here we have to complete, compute only. So, that is why now uh, this probability it is it is asked that this probability should be greater than equal to 99 percent. So, that is why whenever it is greater than equal to 99 percent sorry. So, whenever it is greater than equal to 99 percent this probability then we have to solve that how many bombs we will find because it is greater than equal to 99 percent. So, let us find out this probability first probability that y is equal to 0 plus probability that y is equal to 1. So, now how we can find this? So, this is nothing but uh, probability of y is equal to 0 is how we will find uh, this is from this expression n c y. So, n c 0 1 by 2 to the power of n this is the probability that y is equal to 0 plus y is equal to 1 n c 1 1 by 2 whole to the power of n again because this is the uh, 1 by 2 here same. So, this is nothing but uh, this is n c 0 is 1 1 by 2 whole to the power n this is 1 plus this is n this is the probability. Now, this probability it is asked that find uh, this is asked that how many bombs must be dropped to give a 99 percent chance or better to completely destroying the target. So, this is the 99 percent this probability should be greater than equal to that is why 99 percent or better. So, hence this probability probability of y greater than equal to 2 this should be 99 percent 0 0.99 which implies 1 minus probability of y greater than equal to 2 this will be less than equal to 1 minus 0 0.99 which implies this is nothing but probably that y less than 2. So, this is uh, less than equal to this should be less than equal to 1 minus. So, this is uh, 0 0.99. So, uh, 0 0.01. So, basically we can write as a fraction. So, this is nothing but 1 by 100 1 by 100. So, now this probability we have found here this probability is nothing but this is this is the probability of y less than 2 this is probability less than 2 this probability. So, which implies So, this implies 1 by 2 uh, this implies uh, what we got uh, probability of y less than 2 less than equal to 1 by 100 probability that y less than 2 uh, less than equal to y less than 2 probability of y less, less than equal to less than equal to 1 by 100. So, which implies y less than 2 what we are finding wh wh what is this y less than 2 is nothing but uh, this is y less than 2 we found 1 by 2 whole to the power n 1 plus n. So, less than 2 less than equal to 1 by 100 which implies 1 by 2 to the power n 1 plus n should be less than equal to 1 by 100. So, then uh, it is nothing but uh, 2 to the power of n is greater than equal to 100 plus 100 n. So, that you have to solve. So, because it is uh, not a linear equation, so we may not, so that you have to just uh, check different values of n. So, some of the values suppose if is n is equal to 1, then it is nothing but 2, it is not satisfying. Similarly, you can increase the n values. Now, if you, you know that it, if you, if, you, if you take n is equal to 10, then we this value we know the 2 to the power 10 is 1024 1024 uh, whether this is greater than equal to this value 100 plus uh, 10 into 100 into 10. So, this is 1000. So, this is 1100. So, this is not just missing few values. So, that is why if you take n is equal to 11 this will satisfy. So, this n is equal to is 11 2 to the power of 11 is greater than equal to 100 plus 100 n. So, it is asking 
minimum number of bomb. If, he, if it is n is uh, anything greater than equal to 11, then uh, it is actually uh, n is equal to 11. So, into 11 you can see, see uh, this is uh, satisfying this relation. So, if uh, a n is uh, n is greater than equal to any value 11, then also this will satisfy plus 100 n. So, uh, in that case, uh, we will mention that the at least uh, n is equal to 11, 11 number of bombs should be uh, should be um, hit to get the should be thrown uh, to get the at least 2 hits with minimum 99 percent of probability, 2 direct hits are required to destroy the target completely. So, how many bombs? So, at least 11 bombs must be dropped to give a 99 percent chance uh, to or better to completely destroying the target. So, you, I hope you have uh, uh, understood uh, this uh, concept in binomial distribution, how uh, you can use binomial distribution for solving this kind of numerical problems. Now, we will discuss uh, Poisson distribution, other important distribution. So, we completed Bernoulli distribution and binomial distribution. Now, we will start discussing some other important distribution. So, these two distribution you have seen that the range of the random variable for Bernoulli distribution is 0 or 1. Now, for uh, range of the distribution for binomial distribution is 0, 1 to n, these are finite number. Now, uh, we will discuss another distribution, this is also a discrete random variable, the range of this random variable can be infinite, but it will be countably infinite. So, a random variable x is called a Poisson random variate with parameter lambda greater than 0 if its probability mass function is given by this relation. So, now let us write down this. So, a random variable x is set to have Poisson distribution Poisson distribution with parameter some there is a parameter here Poisson distribution like Bernoulli distribution parameter is p it is belongs to 0 and 1 closed interval 0 1 for binomial distribution we observe that there are two parameters one n, n is a integer positive integer and uh, p, p is again 0 1 and here for Poisson distribution the parameters are uh, one parameter only lambda this is a real number, but it will be greater than 0 less than infinity. So, uh, with parameter lambda with parameter lambda belongs to open interval 0 to infinity. Uh, if the probability mass function the probability mass function of a x probability mass function of a x is given by. So, this probability mass function we can write p x of a x this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial where x is 0, 1, 2 like this, this will be equal to 0 otherwise. So, now uh, what is e? You, e know the, you know that e, e to the power x has some kind of this expression 1 plus infinite series a x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial like this. So, there it has this kind of expression you know whenever uh, x is any real number for any real number. So, you can check that it is always greater than equal to 0, this is a probability mass function and if you take the sum of this probability mass function, this should be in the real line uh, x is equal to 0 to infinity. So, this is nothing but summation of x is equal to 0 to infinity. Uh, um, so, e to the power of minus lambda, lambda to the power x by x factorial. So, now this is nothing but see e to the power of minus lambda we can take common. So, summation of x is equal to 0 to infinity lambda to the power x by 
x factorial. So, this these things you know that this is nothing but this kind of expression is there. So, so x is 0 to infinity here you have taken. So, this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda x is equal to 0 this is 1 then this is lambda plus lambda square by 2 factorial plus lambda cube by 3 factorial like this. Now, see that this expression this is she looks like very similar here. So, this is nothing but e to the power of lambda. So, e to the power of minus lambda into e to the power of lambda this is equal to e to the power of 0 this is equal to 1. So, that is why it is a probability mass function. Now, uh, what is the what are the values if you take suppose x is equal to uh, probability that p x x this is nothing but probability that x is equal to x this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial whenever x is 0 1 2 like this this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, now uh, if you take x is equal to 0 p x 0 this is nothing but probability that x is equal to 0 this is e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power 0 by 0 factorial. So, e to the power minus lambda. So, lambda is any value lambda can be suppose 3 then it will be e to the power of minus 3. So, lambda is any value in the real line. So, it is a some number you can consider 0 to infinity it is a parameter depending upon the lambda it will be different value. So, p x 1 will be nothing but probability that x is equal to 1. So, e to the power e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power 1 by 1 factorial this is lambda. So, similarly, so you can denote like this is nothing but p 1 p 0 this is nothing but p 1 similarly we can denote. Now, if you uh, if you uh, draw this curve to understand it this is this random variable 0 1 2 like this 3 like this. So, at 0 this is nothing but this p 0 then this is p 1 this is p 2. So, like this. So, p 3. So, whenever uh, it is actually uh, has uh, you, you can observe. So, different values of lambda if you find out the probability. So, then you can see that the, this uh, this will be the probability. So, it is called a mode also where it is maximum maximum probability it will be around lambda it will be maximum. So, if it uh, at this according to this curve the lambda may be close to 2 because it is maximum it is going increasing then it will be decreasing like that this should be this curve looks like this it will be a unimodal distribution unimodal means mode means one mode only mode means where it is taking the maximum. So, this curve if it looks like that it is increasing then decreasing like that. So, that is why it is a in a, it is a mode here and it is a unimodal distribution. Now, uh, how you can find the cumulative distribution function from this uh, uh, for this Poisson distribution? The cumulative distribution function, the cumulative distribution function so CDF of a Poisson. of a Poisson random variate random variate is is given by. So, this is nothing but f of x x this is probability that x less than equal to x. So, we have already discussed how we can find cumulative distribution function from probability mass function. So, this is nothing but uh, whenever what is the minimum value this is minimum value is 0. So, it will be 0 less than uh, this and whenever it is less than greater than equal to less than 1 this will be nothing but p 0. So, we have already discussed in uh, binomial distribution cases also. So, then whenever it is x is greater than equal to 1 less than 2 then this is p 0 plus p 1 like this it will continue. So, for any ith i greater than equal to x less than equal to i plus 1 this is nothing but uh, p 0 plus p 1 plus p i like this. So, it will con uh, it will be uh, converging at infinity because uh, this is it has infinite range. So, that is why uh, it will be the if you draw the uh, this curve this is uh, this if you try, try to mist represent it from graphically. 
So, this CDF looks like this is x, this is 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. So, this is 0 here, then it will be some value here, then this, this it will continue. So, this is continue like this and suppose this is 1, so it will be converging at infinity. So, this is actually, so it will be converging at, so it is it is like a, 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 a this is this y axis is equal to 1, this line will be a asymptotic of this kind of function. So, f x x, so because f x x will be goes to 1 at x whenever x goes to infinity, it, is, it will not be any finite value, uh, it will not be exactly 1, there will be some uh, probability uh, remaining to uh, close to 1. So, that is why uh, this is a infinite uh, range, this random variable has a in infinite range, countable infinite range, range of this random variable. Now, this Poisson distribution, how we can find the mean and variance, some of the important uh, measure. So, let us find out that. So, the mean of this random variable mu 1 dash, this is expected values of x. So, how we will find that? By definition, this is nothing but x k p x of x k. So, so, what are the possible values it can take? So, now here this possible values is nothing but summation x equal to 0 to infinity x p x k is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda, this probability mass function you can see, this is the probability mass function we have to write here e to the power of minus lambda, lambda to the power x by x factorial. So, now we just have to compute it, so simplify these things, this is nothing but summation, so x equal to 0, this is 0, so that is why this is 0 plus summation x is equal to 1 to infinity x, so e to the power lambda uh, e to the power of minus lambda, lambda to the power x, so x factorial we can write x into x minus 1 factorial, so this is cancelled. So, then finally, e to the power minus lambda is independent of x, so what, how we can solve this? This is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda summation x equal to 1 to infinity. So, lambda to the power x by x minus 1 factorial that what I, we can do? We can write lambda, lambda to the power x minus 1 by x minus 1 factorial. So, now uh, this uh, how we can find this because it is an infinite series, we have to uh, use some kind of known uh, uh, series so that we know the it is a convergent and also what is the value of the convergent series. So, what is the sum of this series? So, then uh, lambda is it will be independent of x. So, lambda e to the power of minus lambda. Now, x equal to 1 to infinity lambda to the power x minus 1 by x minus 1 factorial. Now, x minus 1 factorial uh, these things we will take this transformation suppose r is equal to uh, lambda minus 1. So, then you can see that the minimum limit it is x sorry r is equal to x minus 1. So, r equal to x minus 1. So, uh, x minus 1. So, this variable I am changing this variable. So, x is equal to 1, uh, it is the minimum of this range. So, x equal to 1, then r is equal to 0. So, this will be nothing but r is equal to 0 to and x goes to infinity, r also goes to infinity. So, then uh, lambda to the power r by r factorial. So, then if you can uh, lambda e to the power of minus lambda, r is equal to 0, 1, then plus lambda lambda square by 2 factorial like this. So, then you will this is nothing but you can see that this is a infinite series of this kind of 1 plus lambda lambda square by 2 factorial it is nothing but it will be converged to e to the power of lambda. So, that is why this is nothing but lambda e to the power of minus lambda then e to the power of lambda. So, this is nothing but lambda. So, that is why mean of this Poisson distribution is nothing but the parameter lambda. Now, we will find uh, what will be the variance. So, uh, for finding the variance, we need second order moments. So, because you know that sigma square of x expect uh, variance of x actually, variance of x, how we can find? So, variance of x can be found by definition, this is x minus mu 1 dash whole square. So, which is uh, the simplified form we will use here, this is nothing but mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. Now, what is mu 2 dash? Mu 2 dash is nothing but expected values of x square. So, by definition, 
expected values of x square is nothing but summation of x square p x of x k over k if you take the sum over k. Now, uh, yeah, what is uh, uh, x square here it is taking it is nothing but the x equal to 0 to infinity. So, this is nothing but summation x is equal to 0 to infinity uh, x uh, p x x. So, p x x is here we will write the probability mass function of this uh, Poisson distribution probability mass function it is p x x is nothing but it is the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial. So, uh, it is the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial. So, this is x square x square x square. Now, similarly we can uh, use uh, x is equal to 0 this is 0 plus summation of x is equal to 1 to infinity x square e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x x factorial we can write x into x minus 1 factorial. So, then this 1 x cancelled, but till another x is there. In that case you cannot more cancellation you cannot do. So, this similar way you cannot simplify here you can see that here x cancelled. So, we got a comfortable uh, some convenience for getting this kind of transformation, but here because there x is there. So, we cannot do this similar computation here. So, because in the denominator we cannot get another x here. So, we can get x minus 1 